What's up bro? Welcome to the third episode of Unfiltered Trading. Let's just dive straight into it. So right now we are currently looking at gold. So before I start, I want to give you guys like a little tip. You guys should only be trading at most three currency pairs at a time, all right? So for me right now, I'm trading gold. Sometimes I'll trade US30 and also GP, JPY or AUD, USD. Alright, the reason why you need to like limit the amount of currency pairs you trade to 3 or 4 is so that you can really laser focus on these 3 pairs, these 4 pairs and just master them. I really don't get how people can have like 10,000 currency pairs on their watch list along with some crypto, Shiba Inu coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, all of those on their watch list. How are you able to stay laser focused? Alright, the key to success is to just focus on one strategy focus on one thing so make sure you guys filter out the noise and just keep your watch list as clean as possible i do have like other currency pairs right here au eu uh, gp usd this is so that i can like share with my students during the mentorship program and just like coach them because these are the currency pairs that they like to trade right which is what beginners should be trading all right so let's just look at gold first okay so once you look at gold right I want you guys to really, really think about what I'm about to say. You need to focus on price action. Price action is king. Right, the reason price action is king is because, like I said before, all the big boys, banks, big institution traders, they do not have complicated indicators like RSI, Bollinger Bands, or MACD. No, none of that. They are laser focused on price action so you guys need to focus on price action too so in this entire episode or rather all the unfiltered trading episodes i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to trade with price action which is in my opinion the best strategy in the world all right honestly smart money concepts i don't know about them because i've never really tried them before the only thing i've tried is the order blocks thing but whatever works for you works for you all right so for the past few days, gold has been consolidating. You can see I've drawn like a little box around here because gold is consolidating. And when price is consolidating, I do not trade, all right? When price is consolidating, I just stay out of the market. So right now, price just broke through out of this little consolidation that we have drawn out of this little box, right? So right now, the price can do a few things. Price can go straight down all the way to this like support level here. Or price can break out a little bit, comes back up to retest this box and then go down. Or the third thing it can do is that it can break out and then guess what? The next session opens, New York session or London session, whatever it opens, price can go back up and continue this consolidation. So those are the few things that can happen right now, which is why I really do not like to trade when price break out like this. But sometimes if price is showing me like a lot of momentum, like I'm talking about like big candlesticks, big red candlesticks, right? Then I will enter for a sell. But right now, price is not really convincing me right now to enter for a sell yet. So I'll still be patient and wait to see what happens. So I really need you guys to understand how price moved from one level to the next level. All right, let me go on to the daily time frame and show you guys. So once you're at the daily time frame, you can see price move from one level to the next level you can see when price was at this level this exact level here you went up all the way here and then now went up all the way here coming back down to this level all right price move from one level to the next level price don't just move randomly like go everywhere nowhere all right price move from level and level that is the one thing you have to understand about price action all right so in our daily time frame you could see that right now gold is in a downtrend how do we know that? Because price is making your lower highs and lower lows, right? And right now, gold could potentially be making a new lower high right here. You can see like when price went all the way down to this level, gold did not really make any significant retracement. It did not really like retrace. It just went straight down, retraced a little bit, and then just continued going back down. And you guys must understand, price can never ever go up or go down forever. Price needs to retrace that price will be losing steam so they have to retrace so that more sellers can come in to sell the market so how do we know when price is going to like start losing steam we look at the candlestick all right and i want you guys to focus on the candlesticks right here you can see right at this level what the price do 
the red candlesticks are getting smaller and getting smaller you can see red candlesticks big small big small and right here this was small small two red candlesticks small and then a doji right here a doji just shows you that okay there's indecision in this market and there might not be enough strength to continue pushing the price down and then the next candlestick just shows you a bullish engulfing candlestick the moment you see this bullish engulfing candlestick you know that price is going to go up all right because you look at this big candlestick compared to small candlestick shows us that a lot of bias a lot of bias momentum is in this market right so when this printed it went up for another 280 pips guys it went up for another 280 pips so right now price is literally forming your new lower high right here you can see this is your new lower high this is the significant retracement that price has made all right so what you guys could have done is you can draw like a little counter trend line right there like right here this could be your counter trend right this little counter trend right here because this is like the retracement which is what i like to call the counter trend so when price broke through the counter trend line you could have shorted it down all right which is right here you could have shorted it down and right now price just going down 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 and potentially it could come down to this level here this 1810 area here this is a very strong support area all right so once you come down to this area we will see what price does if price is able to break through it another tip for you guys is that you guys need to be focusing on the higher time frames the daily time frame the weekly time frame the four hour time frame i don't care if you are a scalper an intraday trader or a swing trader you must be focusing on the higher time frames first example let's say you are in the 15 minute time frame and you only look at the 15 minute time frame you neglect the higher time frame right guess what you think that price is going up you think that it's an uptrend so you go in for a buy and then the next thing you know the overall trend the stronger trend on the higher time frame which is a downtrend is gonna take you out man it's just gonna wipe you out so even if you are scalping i will still advise you to look at the higher time frames like at least look at the four hour so they can kind of get like a sense of the trend direction right now like the bigger trend which is still the higher time frame trend so on a 15 minute time frame it might show you that it's a uptrend but you zoom out to the four hour or the daily time frame you will see that oh it's actually a downtrend so we should only be looking to sell so yep on gold i'm still quite bearish because i still think that gold can drop even further than where price currently is right now so in this scenario what you could do is even pull out a fibonacci and mark from here swing low swing high mark here so you can see price went up to the 61.8 retracement hit it multiple times one two three so right now price is probably currently going to go down to this 1805 level that we have drawn or it can even go down to our 27 extension which is right here or even a 61.8 extension that is what the fibonacci is showing us but most likely price is either going to the 1804 or the 1781 because at this 1781.23 which is a negative 27 extension guess what that is a key level you can see right here that is a key level you look towards your left you see that okay at this area price bounce off this area multiple times so that is a key level so yeah guys when price broke through this 1804 level guess what the next level is going to is the 70 80 level that's why i say you guys must pay attention to key levels price don't just go anywhere or everywhere it moves from one level to the next level Next, I'm going to go through AUD, USD and explain the importance of market structure. So if you guys are still watching this, give yourself a pat on the back because you do not have an attention span of a 9-year-old, which is what most people have right now. All right. So like I said, I guarantee you, if you can watch finish these unfiltered trading episodes, every episode, watch finish, watch to the end, you are going to become a better trader because you can kind of emulate how I trade and learn something from it. At least learn one thing or two things and you can take your trading to the next level. You do not even need to buy any courses. All right. So next, market structure. So once you look at AUD USD, you can see, okay, AUD USD is also in a downtrend. Price has been making your lower highs. Let me just draw it up for you guys to see. Lower highs, lower low, lower high lower low clear as day is in the downtrend all right so i want to ask you guys a question do you go in for a buy right now 
Alright, do you guys go in for a buy right now? No, you do not go in for a buy right now. You know why? Because price have not shown us that it's an uptrend yet. Alright, and how do we know that price is going to reverse to become an uptrend? We know when price breaks structure. So what does it mean to break structure? So as you can see right now, price is making lower high, lower low, right? So you can mark up where is the previous lower high. The last lower high is right here. This was the last lower high before price went back down and failed to create a new lower high. Or rather, right now, it might be creating a new lower high. So how do we know that price is going to reverse to become an uptrend? When price broke through this level, broke through this previous lower high, come back to retest this previous lower high and pump up. So right now, we have a new higher low. You can see this low will be higher than this low right here so that is how we know that price is going to reverse and the downtrend is done it's going to be an uptrend all right which is why i always ask you guys to be patient guys if you're going for a buy right now there's still a chance that it's a downtrend and the sellers are still going to wipe out your account man so you guys really need to be patient and see what price does over the next few days all right trading is just like fishing you throw in a bit and you just wait for the stupid fishers to take it which is the market the market is a stupid fish that is a bad analogy but all right trading is just like fishing you got to be patient if you want to make money in this market so once price broke out of this previous lower high you should still not be entering for a buy you must wait for price to come back down to retest this previous lower high and then you can potentially enter for a buy here when you see your three confluence like bullish engulfing candlestick or some sort of moving average crossover basically make sure you guys get three confluences first and then you can enter for a buy and trade the continuation and hopefully price will just go up and up and up and up baby and so that you can make money on your buy positions yo so that was a pretty short episode of unfiltered trading i just wanted to make sure that you guys understand the concept of price action and stuff so leave a comment down below if you guys want to see like a longer version like 20 minutes or even 30 minutes where i literally just sit down here and explain to you guys the importance of price action and how to trade with price action and my personal trading strategy make sure you leave it down in the comments below so that i can really know that you guys want longer episodes all right and also make sure you like this video if you want to see more unfiltered trading episodes and you can subscribe if you want and remember you are just one trade away Mwah.